gallon bottle of water and put it in there. So, yeah. um, yeah, I don't really think about what time of year it is because I'm here in South Florida, but I don't know. If, I know it might be different for you guys up north. Awesome. In Houston, we have similar weather to Florida, I think. And um, I have found that the lettuce, that, I mean, the um, spinach that works the best in the heat of, of Houston is Malabar spinach. It's not a true spinach, but it's edible and it's really awesome. And it's growing like crazy right now. And um, tomatoes are good, starting to get some tomato crop. Um, lettuces, chard. Uh, chives, green onions, bell peppers. What else? Um, parsley didn't do well this so far this year. And oh, uh, bok choy. I took some bok choy, the end of the bok choy, and put it in water and sprouted it. And so I put like three or four different bok choy plants in, you know, so it's doing pretty good. Guys, I want to shout out to Gabby and Denzel for what an amazing job they did Thursday night. Oh, oh, it man, was such an awesome event. Man. I loved it so hey. much. Thank, Thank, you. You. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. It was great. They did so good that we're going to run the exact same event the first week of July as well, 7th or 8th, something like that. But in addition to the event, they the young people have spoken. They want the event on Thursday and then Friday night, another event that's more of like the detailed presentation of stuff. So we're going to do them both. This so Thursday, people are interested and then they want more information yeah. to follow up. So we're going to, yeah, the ones that come on Friday, we're going to kind of assume they're pretty much ready to go. They just need to know like more details. That's awesome. I love it. I love just the confident mindset that he, that even just that, promotes like in me a confidence that I'm going to get people and they're going to need extra training. I mean, we might as well add a startup on Sunday night after that because they're going to join the team. Wow. It, it does. That? I mean, let's get crazy. So this Thursday, this Thursday is great. Well, tonight is going to be incredible because Sharon and Gabby are doing an event, an event. It started off as an event just because Gabby wanted to do an event, but it's like, why not invite people? It's going to be great. And um, it's going to have that energy from uh, Thursday happening again. And Sharon's going to bring the storm. It's going to be awesome. So I recommend Gabby's you Gabby's going to bring the storm. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for you, Sharon. <laughs> I love the way I, we haven't discussed it, but um, the last couple we've done, Gabby does most of the event but she calls on me for like the technical things. So it works out well, I like that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and then Thursday we're doing um, for the business event at 8 p.m. Eastern, it's gonna be me and Sharon and Doug and Craig Radisi. Um, wait, did I say that wrong? I was reading, it's me and Sharon and Craig and Lisa Radisi, there we go. So you have two couples. <laughs> All NMDs, all been doing it for a long time. And we're going to kind of go over like what that looks like. More of a long-term vision. So last week was like the, hey, I'm 20 something. This sounds cool. Let me do it. And then we're going to give you kind of the, um, the been around, done that for a while. What does that look like? But not just telling our stories. Because I mean, that would be good but it wouldn't really be an event for prospects. So we're going to have the same questions. What got us excited about Juice Plus? Why we decide to share it? What does that journey look like? And then we're gonna break into the bullet points and not necessarily go over all the bullet points, but just use those to randomly, um, you know, just have uh, things to talk about. I just realized Sharon, I wish we had a moderator then we wouldn't have to ask ourselves questions. Oh, for Thursday night? I'm sure somebody would volunteer for that. Mm -hmm. Maybe. We'll keep looking around. I don't know. I got to think it through. And then after, so that'll end a little bit early. So the cool thing is you bring a prospect onto that. We're going to tell some stories about 20 after or so. We'll take a little break. 
And then all hell's going to break loose when Wendy Campbell does gets on there. You know that. So you need to get on there, check it out. And, you know, men, many of you have never even seen or heard Wendy Campbell do a presentation. This isn't going to be like pumping up the team or giving inspiration. This is going to be Wendy as a nurse giving a health lecture. Okay, which, trust me, it can get pretty wild. Okay, and that's all I'm going to say. Do we have so, some ameners to that? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I mean, she'll definitely bring up like, you know, I don't even want to say. Yeah, well, hopefully she doesn't. Sometimes it gets a little personal <laughs> about her and Jim. It gets a little with the purple I, pill. I don't want the say. details of the purple pill, but, you know. We can't control Wendy, okay? The purple <laughs> pill. Who wants happen. to? She wouldn't <laughs> be Wendy if she could be controlled. Right. She gives us the lesson in how much we don't have to be perfect and how much we could be bold and make millions of dollars. <laughs> so, um, I also want to point out, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but we've been intentional in leading you guys to have a little bit less information like on the pinned posts and things like that. You're not seeing like, we don't pass on all the events anymore. Because um, it's just, if there's too much, I mean, we have to think in terms of what do we really need? Um, and new people, we don't want to overwhelm them with like, oh my gosh, there's a million events. You know what I mean? So what we're trying to do, and I love the verbiage. We didn't even talk about this, Sharon. We may have said it, but we never talked about it. You said uh, on your Zoom or your, your Voxer, the featured event this week. I love that verbiage. So there's a featured event. And I think if we all just think in our heads, like for me, like my focus is that business event, right? So like that helps me to like really keep that in the forefront of my mind, talking about it. And that leads to products, business conversations, everything. So um, yeah, make sure that you know which events you're inviting to for the week. And so maybe you say it's tonight, and then Thursday to both of them. And then I know there's other stuff out there. I know you could figure out what's going on in the JPTV or whatever that new site is and all that stuff. But uh, more isn't always better. Sometimes we like to narrow the focus and like they do with light and you, it turns into a laser once you focus the light and then better things happen. So that's what we've been doing. Hopefully that's uh, gonna keep working, but we also wanna keep it fresh for you guys too. So I'm going to give you some verbiage for tonight, because how many of you are currently or have been in conversation with somebody about Juice Plus? Anybody? All right, raise your hand if you've been in conversation with somebody about Juice Plus. So what if you texted five people and said, hey, I know we've been talking about Juice Plus. There's an actual presentation tonight about it, including all the products and the Tower Garden. I'd love for you to join me. It's at seven. I think it's at seven, right, Gabby? Um, so that, was that a yes? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's seven. Okay. So I love having Gabby just break me out of my mold and put it at seven, right? Because I'm always like eight, eight thirty. No, seven. <laughs> I think that's what we did with her friends and family calls. All right, and then you're done. You're well, done I feel for the like night. Some people, some people like. If it's at eight or eight thirty, they're like, okay, what if it goes for an hour at nine o'clock? It may be too late, you know. I don't know. Seven, they could put it on while they're making dinner or something. It works. Oh yeah, and then you could say, like, if they say, oh, I'll be busy or whatever. Hey, you can put your headphones in. You know, I always like to use AirPods or you know, it's something you can do while you do the laundry or if you're driving. You don't have to watch. You just listen. So sometimes you have to problem solve for them, help them walk through because they're not used to getting. Um, on Zoom all the time, things like that. So you you can't just take their knee jerk response of "Oh, I'm busy." You know, you could if or if they give you some kind of information, then you say, "Oh, well, this is how we reconcile it." You know, hey, I understand. This is what we do. Um, we're able to listen in. Um, okay, so that's tonight at seven. I see two people raise their hands. That's awesome. Okay, I'll get to you in a second. Um, and then Thursday night, I don't know about you, but I can say to people. I've learned so much from this community and our network of healthcare professionals. There's one, and I like to say, she's like Joan Rivers on speed. 
who has educated so many people that now she's a millionaire. I mean, you can make up stuff, but I mean, you guys know what you want to say about Wendy Campbell, but um, she's just, you know, somebody wrote in here, a firecracker. So you can describe her or try to and say, I'd really love for you to be able to experience this as well, whether it's your mom, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your whatever, it's good. I mean, I feel like I'm getting tossed around with the waves of like, things that happen to me all day and it's really hard to focus and I'm sure it is for everybody. Um, but we have to just say, okay, these things are being put on for us and why not take advantage for our own business? You know, there is no boss in this business. We're just telling you our success ingredients. So you want to maybe set the timer and discipline yourself to at least spend like, what you could spend 10 minutes, you could spend 30 minutes, you could spend an hour. What if you spent, any of those on a timer where you actually text people for that amount of time, you know? So just however much time you can spend on that, I would. So whether it's tonight, just saying, hey, I know we've been in conversation, tonight would be a great place to join me on Zoom or, and or, you know, and then if they say no even to tonight, then you can say, oh, Thursday night. And then if you're in conversation about the business, then um, the one at eight, is going to have just an overview. You can say you hear some stories and it'd be a really great um, just look at the people that are in our community. So you wanna just kind of describe why you think it's a good idea for them. All right, so we've got Renee raising her hand. Go ahead, Renee. Hope I'm not too late here. You're not, hold on just okay. a second. I've got a jet going over. I live in Virginia Beach, so we have those happen frequently. Another um, love the sound of freedom, but it, it does confuse or um, convolute the conversation sometimes. So forgive me. That's okay. um, quick question for you. So I'm, I'm probably the newest one, our newest member of your group here. And thank you guys for allowing me to join and be a part of this. Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, so I'm talking probably, um, trying to limit my time, which may not come across um, great, but I still work full time and, and I am in the medical business um, working in administration. So it's a pretty stressful job. However, I do try to take an hour each night and then um, some additional time on the weekends mm -hmm. where I'm making up my bulleted list. I'm texting, um, emailing, sending out the videos. I did sign up my first partner yesterday. So I'm really excited about that and have a potential for a second partner coming on board probably in July. So I've really used the blitz to, uh, to the advantage of marketing the um, waived annual fee for the first year. So that's a great um, promotion. And I really appreciate Juice Plus putting that forth. I think part of the challenge for me is I'm really good if you give me a script, trying to script a little bit to persuade or influence the behavior of others. So with that being said, um, trying to not come across as a salesperson, simply an organic conversation to really emphasize the benefits. Some people get right away and other people are, well, let me share it with my husband or let me share it with this person or let me get back to you. And trying to find a nice way of simply saying, I'm just here whenever you're available, but also trying to close that timeline from nebulous to let's talk again in a week or so I'm just kind of looking for some feedback from everybody you know what what are the responses from your team that they give when they encounter that conversation when somebody says I'll get back with you I'm going to talk to my husband or or just a, a general um they're not committal right away okay well what you really need to do is you have to get them to watch that video encourage them to watch the video or whatever um, so when they say something like, okay, I'll check it out. Or the, the worst thing is when, oh, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I just got to do my research and I'll let you know. Well, uh -huh. now they have control. So what we want to do is we want to keep control of the situation. So whenever they say, okay, well, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and check that out and I'll, I'll let you know. That's like saying they're going to watch it. Maybe, maybe not. And then they'll let us know yes or no that's still not enough control for us. So mm -hmm. you always have to still say, um, like if you said, okay, Doug, thanks for that link. I'll, I'll, check, uh, I'll check that out and I'll let you know. I, I, I just, like I didn't even hear it. I'll just go, oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm, I'll circle back on Thursday and, and uh, see what you thought. And, and a that's lot a, of- that's a good suggestion. Yeah, yeah, you just kind of like, 
always keep that control and that's okay that's not a huge thing now if you want to go full on like even on the freedom revolution website or in the gopro book which mm -hmm. mostly that is from they would go a step further and say here's the video now no before they even give a video they would say hey well if i shoot you a video over renee would you when would you be able to check that out you know i don't personally do that like i realize mm -hmm. Uncommittal when I, I sent the video already and you're not committed, but I just don't want to push like that. And some people mm -hmm. have success with that. It doesn't seem to work for me. So it's kind of up to you. And I'll be curious what some other people that ha have a good experience would say too. Let's Thank you. Um, what I pretty much say to people that are interested or, you know, they definitely have that one foot forward instead of just blowing me off. You know, I say I was um, thinking about you today and I'm about to put some orders in. You know, would you like to talk a little bit more about this? Are you ready to get started? You know, whatever would fit for that person that I'm speaking to. Um, just tell them if they're interested in the business, be like, I'd love to tell you more about um, how to share Juice Plus, how simple it is to get started. You know, it's one of the best things I've done for my family. Um, would you like to get started? So it's just kind of a way to ask them another question and gauge their interest and try to get them on the phone. Or are there any questions that I can answer for you? You know, um, yeah, sometimes, um, Renee, this is not like selling jewelry. Oh, I really like that. Let me buy it. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a number of educational exposures. So you want to just always make sure you're giving them some kind of video and right. not counting on yourself to be the presenter. You're really mm -hmm. just tantalizing their taste buds, um, you know, getting them excited to watch the video or come to the event. So if it's stagnating, which is normal, Renee, but you're under a timeline, you've got this promotion that you're trying to get, you know, right. a certain amount of time. That means you have to talk to more people too, because right. you're trying a timeline. Um, but to close the urgency gap, this is what we do. We share our excitement. We give them a video. We say, oh, I'm going to send you a video. Let me call you tonight. It's only 11 minutes or it's only seven minutes, whatever. Or let me call you the next day. Is that how about tonight or the next day? You give them two choices and then you call them or you even might warn them. Hey, I'm going to give you a call at 12. Like we talked about, did you get to watch that seven minute video? And then they might say, no, I didn't get to watch it. Okay, how about later in the day? Would that help, you know, to change that? I know you're really excited about finding out more about this. I can't wait to hear what you think. So you want to say, you know, I want to hear from you when it's fresh in your mind after you've watched the video so we can have a good conversation, kind of like that. And then um, sometimes they're not ready and you could say, okay, let me send you some other videos because there's going to be other great um, things to learn. And I could also put you into our customer group on Facebook. So it's kind of like a crock pot, putting them in the customer group. They're kind of simmering and they've got other educational exposures. And then though, when like a, an event comes up tonight, you say, oh, I know we've been talking about Juice Plus. This would be an easy one for you to get a whole overview. Or, hey, this nurse is like a firecracker. I haven't listened to her myself, but how about Thursday night? So the events kind of give you a way to come back to the conversation. And then I like the way Natalie said, hey, I'd love to help you get started. You ready? Or I'm putting in orders today. Um, would you like me to go ahead and get you started? So sometimes that will help. So yeah. hopefully those gave you some ideas. And there's a lot they of- did. Um, Very um, positive. Yeah, no, I appreciate all the feedback. Thank you so much for your uh, transparency and your guidance. If I could ask one favor, if you uh -huh. could send me the invite for tonight. I, I can't find it. I'm sure it was probably sent to me. I'm just overlooking it somewhere. Me but too. yeah, sending the invite. Are you in um, Team Transformers new chat on Facebook? Oh, Boxer. Boxer. So it's um, here. And then it's also um, in the uh, events on Facebook. Team like Transformers this. Facebook group. The announcements. See, the one that I see on Boxer it seems to be connected. Well, mm -hmm. it's above. It's also above on Voxer. So it's on Team Transformers Announcements, Facebook, and it's on Voxer singly above. But Gabby, could you put it in there again? Yeah, I was going to say I can resend okay. it to the Voxer tonight. In your chat, right? <clears throat> Renee, I don't know if you're in the Voxer chat yet because you're new. So sometimes <laughs> when people are new, we say don't put them in the big chat. 
because they might get overwhelmed. So you might not be in there. Uh, well, I see the new transformers and I'm looking through. I just don't see the invite specific okay. for tonight. Gabby's so uh, like it, I said, I may be overlooking no, Gabby's it. Put it right now. Thanks, Gabby. Okay, so we're going to thank you. Oh, Karen, I have yeah, one more ahead. thing. So Sharon and I were talking to somebody um, who has a teammate who they asked them, they said, hey, because um, they were talking about inviting for tonight. So we we're coaching them about inviting for tonight. And they said, well, I, I talked to that person and they said, I don't have anybody to invite for tonight. It was just like a short text response. And so that's pretty common that people will think that way. Like right now, you might not have anybody on your radar that you could think to invite to this event. But I want to challenge everybody because you know how it is. Like everybody wants to move forward. You're on this call, so you want to be successful. Okay, that's the bottom line. So let me tell you a secret. There, there's you. I don't care if it's 30 minutes before the event. Like, Sharon, we should do that. We should have a contest. Nalani's nodding big time. You know what I mean, like, Nalani? Like 30 minutes before, I'm gonna go get me like some people in the event. You just go get them, and that's that's kind of like a, a success principle in life, right? Like. There is no barrier. You break through the barrier. There's nobody going to hold you down. You, you knock them out and you move forward. So you can't let other people hold you down. You can't let the fact that even if today you don't have anybody in the hopper ready to go, just go. If you don't get, go to your list, well, if you don't have a list, start making a list or just go on Facebook randomly or go to the dog park or something. You're going to meet people, get out of the house. You are going to invite people to the event tonight, okay? So not only all of us need to be doing that, but don't forget about your team too. Don't forget as, you know, to do this business, if you're a retailer and you guys, if you just sell Juice Plus, you might make five to $700 a month, okay? And you know what? That's pretty cool. Like 700 bucks. If you meet somebody and say, hey, if I can show you to make 700 bucks a month extra, would you like that? Everybody's like, yeah. Yeah but nobody's quitting their job over 700 bucks a month. Nobody's going to buy a new house over 700 bucks a month. You have to become a team builder, right? So if you have people on your team, if you, if you don't, I'll have something else for you. But if you don't, if you have people on your team, always invite, always invite you guys, you guys get the project broadcast messages from me, right? Maybe not Renee. Cause I didn't do a new download. I don't know how new you are, Fair. but, I spend over $100 a month on project broadcasts, sending out the same exact message sometimes, right? But I just want, it's worth it. I want you guys to know what's going on, okay? And, and so that's my commitment for you to be in the know. But where's your commitment? And now obviously I send the messages to your people also, but it means a lot more. Like if Denzel calls up his guys that he signed up, they would rather hear from the, them than me. You know, he has the relationship with them. So Denzel needs to do that follow-up. Try to get them on. You know, everybody needs to try to get them on. So just keep that in mind. I can't stress that enough. That is the difference between becoming a team builder or not. You have to feel like you have to keep trying to influence. You don't have to like, you know, the person, the person that we talked to is on here. You don't have to call up that person and like beg them or anything or, or whatever. You want them to have a little bit of FOMO. But just always be agreeable, like, oh, that's fine. But hey, you know what? I'm going to be inviting a little bit today. You know, maybe you could just find a, one or two people to come on. And she did do the best thing. She said, well, if you don't have anybody, maybe you could hop on because that's probably the problem, right? They probably don't have vision for how awesome it's going to be. Once they get on tonight, it's going to be like, oh my gosh, I should have invited people to this. I should have done it. And then afterward, they might say that and you say, oh, that's okay. I got a recording. Let me shoot it over to you. Or we'll so do it again for you. Just keep positive, keep moving forward and keep, keep I mean, if that's what it, it means to hustle, that's a pretty easy hustle. It's not like we're building stairs. One summer in South Florida, I worked for my brother-in-law and me and Joel Herps were building stairs. And then the other summers we were working at the golf course, cutting grass. Listen, everything's easy after building stairs. <laughs> I mean, well, outside. Okay. I'm going to. Crazy. Now move us to our topic for right. today. So I love hearing from you guys though. So um, awesome. I love it, Dougie, because um, we can, we can get caught up in not having guests. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm very guilty. Keep, okay. Keep 
So I did do some work in our Facebook group. If you're not in there, you're welcome to join, even if you're sidelined. I've given up on trying to control anything, okay? So um, Doug will be happy about that, right? <clears throat> um, so here is a photo album, okay? There are at least 50 pictures. So there's no excuse for, I don't know how to do a trade show, all right? So there's Sandy. I don't even know if Sandy's on here. This, she's always so cute on her little trade shows. Look, um, so there's, I'm just going to flip through some. You can bring your tower garden. Um, we usually, like um, Michelle and I did one Friday. <laughs> we did a wellness networking event. Um, so we did not bring our tower garden, but we brought our stuff. So um, Michelle just has her stuff in a cart. You just generally keep whatever boxes, bottles, um, things, promotional items in a cart and you bring it, you know, and like Jules, she thinks having less on the table is better. So some people have that um, feel because they want to just talk to people. They want to get names and numbers. They want to bond with people on site. They don't want to overwhelm. Here's another one um, she did with somebody else. Some of these are really old. Um, so here's see the gummy samples. You could bring chewable samples. So that is definitely um, one of the major things you do want to have at a trade show event is some kind of gummy samples. Now, Friday, we just had them in packets because of COVID. Um, but you definitely want to have some so they could taste them. And I said to Michelle, well, we don't want to waste them. So we're going to make them eat it right when they we hand them the sample. We're going to be like, oh, go ahead and try it. We want to see what you think, okay? Because otherwise they'll put it in their purse or something. We want to have a conversation about it. Now, when a kid just ate ice cream or had a sugary thing, the gummies are not going to work at that point. So if you see a kid come up to your table with the mom and they they just had ice cream or something, say, oh, save that for later don't do it now because it's not going to compare to whatever they just had um, but typically the kids like the gummies you want to have the parents try it too so that they're reasonable and, and they're like oh yeah you should like these right um, and see how there's a sign kids eat free you can always make your own sign um, so we show that we have things on site where we can explain you know we can explain um, how they're shipped if we've got the boxes it makes it easier. We can explain that it comes in capsule or chewable form because it's there, you know? So, and then there's brochures, there's um, sign up forms. We'll get to some of those pictures, I think, better. There's Arlene again. Okay, and then you can have a big sign like that, or you can have a banner. She had some fresh produce. There's Karen and Jules. <laughs> I think this was a business event we did. We brought everything. Um, it was a business trade show. I was there too. Um, and we brought the tower garden. The tower garden, I'd say, besides the gummies, is like one of the major attractors. Okay, let's see. There's another one with the tower garden empty. Okay, but there was a sign. So it is nice to have that, oops, sorry, that sign. I clicked it again, so it's going to go past. Um, <clears throat> so you want to at least have pictures of the tower garden if you have an empty tower garden, right? And you guys are welcome to chime in. I'm just clicking through here so we can talk about it. If you guys have questions while we're talking about it, this is Ellie Shepley. Um, I don't know what all she was doing there. Um, this is me and probably Michelle. This is, we bring carafes of shake. So I usually bring the chocolate one. She usually brings the vanilla. And, um, you know, we talk to the other person. We say, okay, I'm bringing this, you're bringing this, whatever. Or I don't know who that was. I don't know if that was Michelle or not, but. That was me, you and Joy at the spa. Okay. That makes so much sense. I usually bring a blender and blend it right up there and have the Well, have if the you have cups. a good carafe, it keeps it like for hours. And yeah. you do it really blended with as much ice or frozen fruit as you can so it stays cold. And some of it, go ahead, Michelle, if you, I see you biting your tongue there. Do you have anything you want to add right now? Because I know I'm going to Yeah, call. I actually updated my carafe. I found one at Bed Bath & Beyond. It mm. was an insulated carafe. So yeah. it really keeps my things, like my smoothie chilled and like frosty for even longer than this one did. Good. So um, yeah, this was one of the best tips that Sharon, Sharon actually bought these at Costco and we split the cost of those carafes, but they're amazing. And you don't have the mess of making a shake at the event, which can become like a mess if, you know. So you that's not it. your arm, is it? That's Joy's arm. That's why I was like, I don't that. think that is Michelle. 
I knew it there. Perhaps it probably was, but I'm like, that might not be Michelle's arm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. So also look at how we put the salad in a jar there. You never know what's going to attract somebody or what might be a talking point. So we were doing like salad in a jar events. So Very we nice decided time. to put that sign there. And we also have like a little sign up. So sometimes we say, do you want to come to a salad in a jar event? Because that's like a um, indirect way of sharing Juice Plus with people. Not that we're not going to share Juice Plus with people, but it's like, okay, they want to come to a salad in a jar. We'll do that. And then we're also going to share Juice Plus while they're there. So, you know, think about what you want to talk about when people come up to the table and what kind of event you're having next. So you, you might want to have that type of a picture. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I, I also don't know who are those your little, um, bowls, Michelle. Yes. For the gummies. Okay. Mm -hmm. so put those in there. I broke one at that event. Well, there we go. Now I could see her there. Where <laughs> was this? I forget. Oh, this was the at spa that in the mall. Okay, yeah. so this was at a spa in the mall. So I think just these pictures really share a lot. You know, we created this event. This event didn't exist. I asked the lady at the spa, can we have a table? And then I brought these guys along. Okay, so you have to make things happen in your business. Oh, gosh, I don't remember where this is. Some school. It says Texas. That's, that's Sony. Okay. Sharon, I don't, this is Kelly Petrich. I don't yes. know if this image was already shown because um, it's been floating around um, in some other groups, but I went to the Dollar Tree and got um, our colors tissue paper. So like a red tissue paper, the green, the purple, orange, uh -huh. and I put it in, um, I can't remember if it was in the, it was in the box, the boxes with oh. the bottles in front of it and the tissue paper, the color of it just drew people to oh. my table. I got a lot of feedback from That's that. Great. Yeah, and if you do like a gift bag and say you're going to do a raffle or even just a gift bag and say gift of health, I like that with the, the different colored tissues. That's good. So, okay, um, let's see what else we got here. So sometimes we buy a banner. Um, just be careful if it's windy outside that can act as a sale. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> this, is, this is at the Don't Earth Day know. event, and I actually met Alicia McDonald at this Earth Day event, not this one. We've been doing it for like six years, but um, like two years ago, I met Alicia at this Earth Day event. We do it every year, not since COVID though. And she came to the table because she saw a sign I had about cancer and how one in three children will get cancer in a lifetime. And she was the one out of three. There was three of us talking and she said, I had cancer. And I was like, oh my gosh. So you never know what's gonna appeal, like catch someone's eye on your table. Right. Yeah. I mean, we have gotten yeah. team members. We got Sandy Stetter with Karen doing a booth, I believe. Stacy, mm -hmm. I met um, at a booth. This, what I think that? we did what? a baseball game, Dougie, with the oranges we put up. Yes. Oranges. Yeah. See, I mean, so, so think about it. If you're new to this, there's a couple of things. And I feel like I do have good advice. I don't love doing these booths at all. But um, what I've learned from it is you're standing there at a booth, right? So you're at these variety of events. People will walk by, act like they don't see you and things like that. You gotta have something that's gonna draw them in. So we had oranges, but you gotta be careful because like we were at a baseball game. So if we put out gummies, the kids are gonna come and grab a handful of gummies. You know, $100 of gummies later, you still haven't spoken to a parent. And, or they come over and say, why are you giving my kid candy? So, um, you need no. to have something to attract them and then you're going to engage with them. So I think for me, the, it's way more important to think about how I'm going to start conversations than what the conversation is going to be. Because as we use ditch the pitch type of techniques, we're not going to have like a scripted thing to tell them about at the table. We're going to ask questions and it could go anywhere from being a cancer survivor to being a new mom to whatever, being an athlete or in a trainer. So, but your opening line is kind of important. And then we can get ideas from that from all the experts here. But then the other thing is the follow-up. You'll notice clipboards on all the good tables. Um, you want to gather their information. You, we, don't, I don't, we don't even bother bringing business cards. We, we don't give out business cards personally, Sharon and I. We, um, I would do it at maybe a networking event, but that's about the only time. 
because I don't want them to have my info. I learned that when I first started sharing Jews Plus. I'd come home from work, really excited. I'd say, Sharon, I um, shared today. I think they're really interested. She's like, great. Did you get their credit card number? No. Did you? Well, give me their number. I'll follow up. Oh, I gave them my number. And she's like, you will never hear from that person again, ever. So the same thing at a trade show. You, you have them write down their info on their on the um, little notepad. The reason we don't use a list is because you could lose it and you know lose everything. But also having a little card where they fill out their info, after they walk away from the table, we flip the card over and we write down mm. mom, three kids, um, cancer survivor, athletic trainer, whatever the notes are. Because then when you call them, you're like, hey, all right, well, tell me more about your athletic training business. You know, so that's just a, a good technique. We that's also try to friend them on Facebook. I mean, if we hit it off. Oh, yeah, on the spot. On the spot, you try to friend them on Facebook. Like, you've got to develop rapport with people. Those are the people that will answer the phone, you know, or will respond if you send a messenger on Facebook. So you want to develop rapport, get on the same page with them, um, and so that you can friend them. And there was something else I was going to say. Oh sometimes you can send a video right away i'll say hey go ahead and give me your text number or if i just friend them on facebook and they friended me back even like a lot can happen within a conversation then i go ahead and i send the video then because otherwise when i get home it's a lot it's a lot to remember which video you want to send and all that stuff i don't know about you michelle but this is my trade show little things from the other night they're all little cards <laughs> So, and then there was like my friend who was there and I had to remember to send her something. So um, we did have little sheets too. I forget, I gave you that one. But um, yeah, you never know how you're getting all the information. You just wanna um, get as solid as you can connection with that person um, right away. <clears throat> Anybody else wanna add to that? Um, okay, so we could go to verbiage and stuff. I actually was so excited. I found a recording and it's on campbellteam.net and I added it to the comments in this photo. Let me just find some pictures I like here. Some of these are sidelines, so I don't get as excited about their pictures. Sorry. Um, I mean, not sidelines that are on here. <laughs> like the ones I might have down. I don't mean, okay, I better stop talking. Okay, and if you so, keep going, you can see one that was really popular that yeah, I, did I was trying to find Catholic that with Church. your I know doctors with the red light green light everyone like went crazy for that so it's at the mm -hmm. bottom I need to probably go in here and get rid of some of these ones. Um, but it's at the very bottom I saw it this morning, because you did you did a great right. job right here is part of her booth too about the salad in a jar. Um, the cancer the beads so let me go to this. Yeah. This whole Anything thing. you can do to engage there. Look yeah. at that. That is that's killer. What yeah. if I can blow that's it? awesome. Oh, it doesn't really. The blow. poster attracted a lot of people to the table. Between the poster and them looking at the apple and what's in an apple versus in a vitamin. So the big bottle has all the phytonutrients in one apple, and then the little bottle had like thirty little beads that shows that man's mm -hmm. what man's been able to replicate in vitamin and minerals. So between that board and that sign, everyone stopped at my table and it, they were there just talking for a while. So um, were there this kids was, the event? what was it? Were there kids there? Because if you can engage somebody's kids, parents really like that too, especially if you're teaching them about fruits and vegetables and stuff. There, were, there weren't a lot of kids at all, which was funny because I thought there was and that's why I did the whole board. <laughs> But um, the parents, they were super interested and they were like, what is this? What's traffic like eating? And I had the Dr. Sears book, you see? Yeah, um, I see it right here. Feel great. Mm -hmm. And then I had the little, where they could stick it. Like if there were kids, I would say, hey, where do you think this food goes? Does it go on a red light, a yellow light or a green light? And so they got to do that. So um, yeah. So as much as you can educate them while they're at the table, you know, that's awesome. What's the difference between vitamins and whole foods? So she's got the apple and she's got how many phytonutrients are in an apple. And you probably have a little bottle there too, maybe in the front. Yeah, that's because what that little only... bottle is. Yeah. That okay. little bottle in front of it is the one that shows how many minerals and vitamins man's replicated, which was like around, I put 31 in there. 
Oh, actually, I have it on my table right in front of me, guys. How funny. <laughs> I have so the that's, big the, that's the apple one. And the other one's so and little. It, yeah. So here they are. So tiny. Oh, where's my camera? But Let's this was 30 something in here. It looks like nothing in this tiny bottle. But yeah, that was a huge conversation starter. And Stacy Turner was actually, Sharon had one of these back in the day. And then Stacy Turner did a whole Facebook Live about it a few mm -hmm. years ago. It was so good. I said, and notice mm -hmm. she has the salad in a jar. So she's going to attract those people. Mm -hmm. um, so she's kind of hitting on everything. This is the free kids eat free sign. She's got some cancer posters here. Um, and she has the little sign up sheet. So um, let me see. I think there was a closer up. Yeah, here's the some of the signs she has. And basically, you're just printing and putting some kind of laminate or frame around it. Um, here's the here's the picture, Michelle, that shows the little um, bottle. Too. Yes. Okay, so yeah, so those are all in the album on Team Transformers on Facebook. Okay, so in here, I also put this one audio and basically I'm going to share my screen, but put the audio audio on so that you could just hear me many years ago sharing and you'll know that it's on here. Okay, so I found, let's see, here it is. Questions so one thing I ask. Go ahead. Okay, so one thing I notice is that whenever we do trade shows, usually the Juice Plus table is so colorful and bright that it really attracts people to our table compared to other vendors we may be in a room with. So keep that in mind. That's why you want to have all your bottles and your display because our packaging is so bright and vivid and beautiful. It attracts people to the table. And I usually have like a nice bright tablecloth too. And then I love Kelly, not Kelly, Elena's idea about the paper. So that brightens the, the display even more. Mm hmm. So this um, so when I was looking for things for the trade show, I'd put in booth or trade show or vendor booth. Um, this was on campbellteam.net from many years ago. Just know that there's like Facebook groups. You can also talk to your sponsor or your leader. So I'm going to play this so you guys can hear the ditch the pitch. Hey, Campbell, four, five, five, three, zero, six, two. Good morning, everyone. I trust you had a wonderful weekend. Um, and here is Sharon Farrar, National Marketing Director, teaching us some great questions, great verbiage, not just for trade shows, but for anyone. Thank you so much, Sharon. Hey, team. I wanted to give you some questions that I asked while I was at a trade show event today. One that I like to ask is, do you have any health goals? And then if they say yes, then I'll say, you know, what kinds of health goals do you have? And then depending on their health goals, then I could say, well, we do have a transformation program and we can send you some information about that. We can really help you in that area. So being very confident about that. So that's one. Um, also, I asked one man, you know, what are you doing for your health? What kinds of things do you do? You look very healthy. Um, and he said, I take a lot of vitamins. And so then I said, um, and tell me why you take vitamins. Just, you know, why do you take vitamins? And he said, I don't know. <laughs> and I said, okay. I said, well, you're probably thinking that, you know, just uh, maybe if you don't eat right or whatever. He goes, yeah, just kind of as a backup. And so anyway, that kind of led to me showing him the Apple page and all that good stuff. Um, so anyway, just asking really good questions, you're going to find out some really good information to then be able to educate people further. Um, what you don't want to do is just start presenting, well, this is Juice Plus and yada, yada, yada. Um, I like to ask a question, learn more about them, and then um, that helps me immensely to show them that I can really help them meet their health goals, or I have some really great information I'd like to share with them. So I moved right into the, um, you know, the vitamins versus whole foods. Or if they're interested because um, they love the idea of this or that, then I could show them maybe the research. Depends on what they say, then that's what tool you then would show them with excitement because that's what they're interested in or that's where they're already at. So you want to try to meet them where they're at. Okay, hope that helps you guys. Okay, so basically asking questions. Um, that audio is on the photo album and Team Transformers. So a lot of the things, even the, um, oh, shoot, I forgot to show you guys this other thing. Hold on. 
even the thing about what to bring. Okay, that's verbiage in general. But this, sharing at a vendor booth. So here's a list. And I found this on thefreedomrevolution.com. You go under Q&A or whatever it is, uh, search and put in booth and you can find it. But I also put this link in the comments section of, um, of the Team Transformers photo album, okay? So here's like what to bring. You don't have to bring all that stuff. Also, you don't wanna spend a lot of money. See, it says try not to spend more than $100. We wouldn't even want you to spend $100 really. Um, so because it's a gamble, really, this is cold market. This is not how you want to build your business necessarily. This is for fun. This is like, I'm going to meet somebody I would never meet in my life. And now I'm going to just get outside of my own bubble to go meet people that are different than me, you know, go in different um, circles or whatever. So, you know, it's a gamble and we don't want you to, to gamble a lot of your money. We want to help you. So always talk to your sponsor or leader about that. Here's how you could print your own banner. Here's where you get Tower Garden posters and Juice Plus things. Um, there's a registration form in here. So it does say check for electrical outlet if you are bringing an actual Tower Garden. Um, but you could bring it and keep watering it. It's not a great idea, especially in the hot summer sun, but you know there are ways. And then um, five day supply on the spot for somebody who might buy um and order forms things like that so and here's some more pictures here's a sign free samples free for kids um okay that's something in here i don't know um and then here is like what they could sign up so a little sign up sheet so this should really help you guys get started that link is on the freedom revolution but it's also on the photo album in team transformers Okay, I know Michelle's dying to, to say some more. Go ahead. We love doing trade shows. They're fun. We actually have a great time. No, I was just really looking at what they had on the Freedom Revolution. It was good. I mean, I've learned everything I know about trade shows from Sharon. But I mean, I signed up to do the business. And I think within a week, we were doing a trade show. And I was like, what the heck am I doing out here? I don't know anything. But um, I really just watched and observed Sharon. And when people did ask me questions, I just always knew that Juice Plus was just fruits and vegetables and it was a really easy way to get them. So that was what I would tell them, but it was really good getting out there. Cause if I didn't know the answer to something, I was like, oh, I'm not sure, leave your information, not get back to you. And then I would either ask Sharon or I used to like dive headfirst into our website. Now we have like Healthy Living Revolution and the Freedom Revolution, but we used to have an all encompassing website and I was like, I want to know more so that when I do do these events, um, I feel comfortable. But, you know, you learn as you go throughout anything. Like if I started a new job, I wouldn't know everything on the first day. So that's just the mentality I had. I continued learning and put myself out there. You're not always going to know everything. And that's fine. You can say, I'll get back to you. And that's a good reason for them to leave their information, right? Because you're going to get back to them. So um, I've just learned a lot and Sharon is really good. I swear she could have written a book, Ditch the Pitch because she really did ask a lot of questions and that taught me not to be in presentation mode all the time, like ask questions. And I used to find out really cool things about people. I met people that their children were playing so travel soccer too and went to Yale on a scholarship. Like I just found out so many things about people and made amazing connections, whether they purchased or not. Like these are people that now follow me on Facebook. And even though they might not have done anything then years later progressed into more because they've just been watching me all this time. So it's for people that I had really good connections with at the time that I say, are you on Facebook? And we're connect right there. So Trade shows are great at just widening your, your um, audience because, you know, sometimes you feel like, oh, there's no one else to talk to. <laughs> but then you go out there and you're like, oh my gosh, you meet some new people that have never heard of Juice Plus. And it's so cool to share that with them that there's these easy solutions. Yeah, they've never even heard of it. It's like, mm -hmm. wow. Okay, so we're going to go to Melissa, then Karen. So Karen, I'm warning you. Um, Melissa, you had a question and I love that you guys are putting opening lines in the chat. So somebody needs to read that. Yes. So go ahead, Melissa. Oh, I was, I was just going to say when Jen and I did our first trade show, I mean, it was, we were taking a chance, but that's how I did everything. I found all the photos on team transformers and then went to freedom revolution, 
printed out that list. It's hanging on my fridge still, printed out those pictures. Um, and I'm actually having an in-person happy hour this Friday with Bridget, who's coming to town. And I'm hoping a woman, I only got in touch with one woman from the trade show. It was not the right kind of event. Um, but I met her for wine last Tuesday. And she even said, well, it sounds smarter. I would just join the business if I was going to buy this. And I was like, okay. So I think she's going to come Friday. So I'm hoping that'll solidify. But actually, Saturday, when we got to the beach, Jen and I signed up for another trade show in July. So it looks like it'll be a better event. But good. So, and you can invite you. that lady to Thursday night. You know, that'll help you for Friday. She said she's not very good with Zoom. So I've just kind of been sending her recordings. And she's been doing research herself online. She's like, I've read some good things. I've read some bad things, blah, 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 blah. So a three-way call might be helpful too. Okay, Karen. Karen is the master of trade show events. Um, she hasn't been doing as many since COVID, obviously. But uh, she did get Sandy interested in Juice Plus and the business too, right? And, um, and, and Debbie to Jesse. Mm -hmm. Debbie to Jesse. So... I probably have actually a few team members, several team members that are from events. So any tips for everybody? I mean, there's so much you guys have covered a lot. What I would say to the people that are new is this might be overwhelming. All the stuff that we're telling you to have on your table. One of my best I used to do the Museum of Discovery and Science. So I hope somebody picks that up because that was that's where I got Sandy and that's where I got, you know, a lot of my customers. Um, and I'll never forget one Sunday, I don't know, I was running late with the kids and I got there and I realized I had, you know, my bag of stuff and I had all the normal stuff that I had on my table, but I had forgotten my gummies. And I literally inside was hyperventilating, like, oh my, I forgot the the like the star of the show. I forgot the gummies. That's what everybody, you know, tastes here. Do you know, I had got three customers that day with no samples because it is about your enthusiasm. It honest to God does not matter what you have on your table. If you are enthusiastic and you talk to people, I mean, I have gone to trade shows. I've seen other juice plus people with all their table is amazing. And I think how long is it taking them to set up? Like it just takes them so long to set up. So one of the other things I love for vendors to see is how little time it takes me to, to set up. You know, I do the, I bring the crafts of shake simply because I'm going to tell you, I do a lot of, show, uh, do a lot of trade shows I did. And I am kind of lazy that way, but I had a rep at one point, Delarain, who used to bring the blender because she wanted to make everything there. That is when people come, when they hear a blender going, they want to come and see what you're making. So that does attract a lot of people, but it's a pain. It's a huge pain. Um, the tower garden, if you guys have a tower garden, but you can't, you're like, I have a, I don't even know what kind of car, a Nissan Altima. I can't, um, okay, sorry, my son's texting me. You know, I can't fit a tower garden in there. You know what, there were some days where I was like, I do not feel like bringing my tower garden and I have a huge minivan. So I used to actually break off leaves of kale and Swiss chard and bring a vase and I would fill it up with water and I would put it on my table and I would simply just put the big leaves and then I would, and I have a book and I would show people the tower garden. Never pass out brochures, never pass out business cards because they're not gonna give, you know, they don't care, they didn't pay for them they're, and they're not gonna call you back. I've only ever had one person in all those years ever call me back from me giving, you know, my information. Um, I mean, there's just your, you know, your enthusiasm, but you know, the samples are great. Um, you know, I don't know, somebody's, I don't know, you guys can read. So I have literally thousands of contacts and I have thrown away thousands of contacts. So you just have to be, if you're brand new, I mean, you can do, a health fair, but honestly, it wouldn't be the first place that wouldn't be the first thing I would do because you are going to spin your wheels following up with cold market. Um, you know, I've had a rep before where she didn't really have a lot of warm market and we worked a lot of, we worked a lot of trade shows just to get her to QSC. Like it was a lot of work because, you know, it just is a lot of work to try and get cold market. They don't know you. So 
but it is great. It is a great way to get people into the pipeline. And you guys have heard me over and over again with my stories that, you know, I just got a new customer that I met her four years ago and she's finally ready. So that's the kind of expectation you have to have. You have to have this expectation that you may not get most of the time, you may not get customers that day or even within a couple of weeks, you have to be patient. You have to definitely have patience if you're doing, you know, trade shows, but I came with a marketing background. So I actually enjoy them. I like meeting people. I friend them on Facebook. So um, right. So they but don't feel like you have to have everything. They get mm -hmm. exposed to you over time and then they come around. Mm -hmm. Denzel. Yep. Yeah, this is it. We're talking about trade shows, right? Uh -huh. But I know I had this idea before I even logged in to the lunch and learn, but my house is on the corner lot of my neighborhood. And it's at a stop sign that's always getting ran, right? You know, everybody has that stop sign in the neighborhood that nobody stops at. I'm like, I've been thinking, like, could I set up a table? Not at the stop sign, of course. It's like, that's dangerous. But, like, in my yard, in a way, and, like, almost set up, like, a booth just for people to put their attention on. Because, like, I've noticed when I'm outside, like, with a dog or something, people will stop because, okay, something catches their attention. Other than that stop sign, that should be getting stopped at. But, but like... Is that, has anybody ever did that? Like set some up for their house, like a lemonade stand type of thing? That's trade show -ish. I've, seen, yeah. I've seen people with um, tower gardens in the front yard and that generates uh -huh. um, conversation. But I mean, in my opinion, I mean, I guess it depends on your, where you are. I mean, if I lived in an apartment in New York City, think about it, you would get plenty of trade show traffic on the streets of New York City. I don't know if it's that crowded at your house and if they're unique people each time or if it's you're talking about the same people that like walk their dog or something. If it's, it's a enough, good bit, it's the, the, the road I'm on, it's a good bit of traffic. I mean, I'm hearing cars all the time and it's, it's a good bit of foot traffic around certain times of the day, like in the morning and in the afternoon, like, you know, your neighborhood, like you can see the patterns, like this is a high traffic area. And I'm just thinking, yeah. I don't think that's going to be effective. I think you could spend hours out there and maybe have one or two people stop. Okay. I think you are influential enough and you know enough people that you need to just start going to people that own brick and mortar businesses and say, hey, can I set up? What about, what about almost a yard? Oh, you don't want to do a yard sale type of sign and be like, yo, come by my house and don't have a tower. So I'm going to tell you, we did a yard sale yeah. and I set up a juice plus booth on the side. People have a yard sale mentality and the last thing they're thinking of is spending $50 a month. I have tried it all. all. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried it all. Denzel, well, you can go to gyms. This is, this is gold. Thank you. Sharon, one of the oh, one of the places that I was thinking of doing, which Denzel, you might have good contacts for that, is um, like we, I have a huge baseball complex down the street from me, and they have their when they do their spring <clears throat> spring baseball, they'll have one day where all the parents have to go to do, you know get their shirts, get their registration finalized, meet their coach, all of that, and I wanted to set up a booth at spring spring you know spring baseball yeah. Yeah. so i know you were involved in sports that might be something that you could do too that just that gave me a whole bunch of ideas that's good yeah football that. camps for sure mm -hmm. yeah. well, sharon and michelle yeah. they'll just go over to orange theory fitness and say hi i'm michelle and sharon uh can we set up a table we'll give away smoothies to your people oh yeah sure and mm -hmm. they just do it yeah. You know, okay. so that's yeah. what Karen's saying. I think if you go to the place where people already are, that's more effective than trying to bring them to you sometimes. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. and then the market, like you're at the baseball place with the kids. Like, yeah, get to that. The so market, where there's hot market. sports. Yeah. yeah. Anytime there's sports or athletics, that's a good idea. Okay. Or even okay. better, where you wherever you have something in common with people, or you know, you know what I mean, like. So for me, it's usually about relationships, not about like, I need to see a thousand people and I'll pitch them a bunch of stuff. I'm just not as good in that environment, but that's why I like like the dog park or something. Cause I can get to know people cause everybody stands around and talks at the dog park, you know? Yeah. That helps. I just throw out ideas just to me. That's what this lunch and learn is for. Get there. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. If, you, if you got a Loving it. Loving if you have real vision for the lemonade stand, who's to say you're not going to be the one that creates a new thing? So, I mean, uh -huh. 
we know. did it with like star fruit or mangoes from our trees and people do stop so it depends you know you could have something uh -huh. like that where they're stopping and see how it goes yeah yeah okay. all right guys well that's it for our trade show uh segment all of the um links are in team transformers facebook group under photo albums trade shows in the comments are the new links that i added today um so i hope this was helpful and the, there will be a youtube on team transformers youtube and this will be um streamed into uh our group today okay guys so thank you for all your contributions and let's go out and get them have a good one guys